Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is something that I think will help a lot of people with making their animations more fluid and smooth. Um, and I'm going to do this by kind of giving you an example. So let's say you have this guy. Let's say his name is Steve. And you also have the guy who's just way too happy. Hey. Yeah, him. So let's just pretend that Steve really doesn't like that really happy guy. So you decide, in your movie, you're gonna have Steve bludgeon the happy guy with a wrench. How does the happy guy feel about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. So the first time you try to do it, it may look something like this. So, yeah, it looks okay. If you... people will tell you that the movement was way too fast, and that you need to take more pictures. Yeah, sort of. That's not really the whole thing. Like, I'll show you what I pretty much tried to copy the exact movement just with more pictures. And this is what it looks like. <laughs> Better? Yes. But, I mean, does it really look like he hit the guy that hard? I mean, he was just feeling bad for him, so he just fell down. Just to be nice. No, it doesn't, it doesn't look really that good. It's smoother, but it doesn't really look that realistic. So you want to be able to get in the middle where you keep the speed of the hit and have the smoothness as well. So those clips kind of show the two extremes. One not having enough pictures and the other having too many. So now I'm going to show you how I would animate it. So I hope you can agree that that one looks better. It has the speed of the hit, so it looks like he's actually hitting him hard, but yet it still looks smooth. So the way you do this is by doing something called ease in and ease out. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to let this clip play in kind of super slow-mo and I'll kind of just narrate what's happening. Um, so what you have to understand that is that in real life, Things don't move at a constant rate. They ease in and they ease out in, in everything. So you have to do the same thing with your animations. So for this movement of the guy bludgeoning the other guy, for the, you have to start out slow and end slow for every movement. So one movement here is the backswing. So he starts out slow, easing into it, and then once he gets to the end, he has to ease out, so slowing it down again. And that's the one movement for the backswing. And then once it starts going forward again, that's a whole other movement. So you have to start slow again. And then get going faster and faster so it looks like he's hitting him really hard. And then once he's done hitting him, he has to ease out again to, you know, finish the move off. So you get the idea. Ease in, ease out, out of every movement. Trust me, it really makes a difference in making your animations more smooth. So that's easing in and easing out. That's pretty much all I wanted to say. So if that's something you don't do, try it out. It may make a difference for you. All right, on to the run cycle. Um, so basically, the only thing I really need to say about this is the only um, way that my run cycle kind of differs from the one that I've seen in a lot of tutorials is that the minifig never stops moving in mine. Okay, so that's all I really need to say. It doesn't really need to be explained. You can kind of just watch it and see. So I'm just going to play the run at normal speed a couple times, and then I'll slow it down, and then it'll play frame by frame so you can see each frame individually. And then after the first one's done, I Actually, I'm going to show two other variations just to show you, you know, you can kind of change subtle things in the movement to get a different feeling from the character, to get a more hurried or rushed kind of run or a more cartoony run. You know, there's different ways of doing it.
that is how I do the running. Um, that's pretty much all I have for this tutorial. I hope you guys found it useful. Um, let me know what you thought about it. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.